Welcome to another episode of GSENC English, and welcome to another episode of You Tell Me. In this episode, we're going to give you the answers to the questions that we asked you last time. For part one, we asked you to describe what do you see and what do the images show. So, Lawton, what do you see? Well, I see four images. There is a picture, a drawing, and also two videos. Looking at the images, I would say that the building looks like it's made of stone, and it also appears to be some sort of tower. Lance, what do you think the images show? I see two outside images and two inside images. The outside images show us the shape of the building. For example, the top and bottom are square, and the tower itself is round. Mm -hmm. The inside images show us details of the construction. For example, you can see that there's a window and beams spanning the interior. Okay, so can we identify the building from that? An ancient stone building with a window. Hmm. Lance, can you think of any of those? Well, you know, it, it does sound like a building that everyone here in Korea knows. So, for part two, the first question, what is it? It's Chomsong Day, which, by the way, means stargazing tower. That's right. In English, we would call it an astronomical observatory. And for the second question, where is it? It's located in the city of Gyeongju, which, as many of you will know, is called the Museum Without Walls because it has so many historical buildings and artifacts from the Shila Dynasty period. The 27th ruler of the Shila Dynasty, Queen Sondok, is the answer to the next question, who built it? In fact, some people say that's why the tower has 27 layers. Others say that's why the shape of the building resembles a woman. Do you buy that? Interesting. I can kind of see that. So for our next question, when was it built? It was constructed in the year 633 CE, which means it's more than 1300 years old, making it one of, if not the oldest observatory in the world. That's really amazing when you stop to think that the building has survived several earthquakes, including the one in 2016. How it's still standing in its original structure is a feat of engineering. But our next question is not how it's standing, but why was it built? Mm -hmm. And the short answer to that is that it was built to observe the stars in order to predict the change of seasons. That's its function. But if we want to go a little bit more deeply into the why question, we need to talk a little bit more about its symbolic meaning. We already talked about how the tower might symbolize Queen Sondok, but there are other interpretations. For example, people used to believe that the earth was square and the sky was round. So the use of square and round shapes in the tower combines these ideas. Another interesting detail about the tower is that the top of the tower looks like the Chinese symbol for well, Zhong. People say that the four sides indicate the four seasons or the four directions, north, south, east, and west. It's funny that the Chinese symbol means well because the inside of the tower looks like a well. To us Westerners, that Chong symbol looks like the pound symbol, mm. which for us means number. Speaking of numbers, some people say that the number of stones used in the construction of the tower represent the number of days in a year. And the number of layers of the tower represent the number of days in a month. Hmm. Some people also say that the 12 layers above and below the window could represent the number of months in a year or also the number of signs in the zodiac. What do you think? Do you think that symbolism is intended? Well, you know the building is so old that we can't really be sure. Just like we can't be sure of the exact answer to our final question, how was it used? It was obviously used as a tool to mark time, but exactly how this was done is unclear. There are a few different ideas. 
Here is one, that during the nighttime, the top of the tower was used as a platform to observe the stars. Or during the day, the shadow cast by the tower itself could have been used as a sundial. Another theory suggests that uh, by measuring the sunlight shining through the small window could have been used to track the time of the year. So those were the answers to our questions. Did we miss anything? What do you think? Tell us in the comments. The winner to our challenge this week is Mr. Yi Jang Su in Singapore. Thank you so much for your participation. Okay, that's all we have for this episode of You Tell Me. We'll see you again soon with a new episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.